Hi chat! Hello, hello, hello! Hi, hi, hi! Excuse my bare face today. Um, I'm still in a lot of pain. I have been in a lot of pain for the last week. Um, and it's been going between really bad, um, really bad, what is it called? Cramps, to headaches, to feeling sick. I've not been doing too well. <laughs> That's the summary. I've not been doing too well. But I'm here um, because today I didn't want to I didn't want to cancel or postpone another mental health Monday because I have been really enjoying them. Um, so I'm here. We're doing mental health Monday for the people who don't know what it is. Oh, let me get up the we are fundraising. <laughs> For the people who don't know what it is, we are fundraising. We're also interviewing um, mental health professionals, asking them questions about how they became mental health professionals, about their experience with mental health, um, etc., etc. Together with Rise Above the Disorder, who are a charity putting together, thank you, Bloom, uh, putting people together with therapists and also, if you can't afford it, uh, paying for a therapy, which is very nice um i actually wanted to share this with you i have just gone through rad um to get me connected with a therapist because i my last therapy like didn't really work out my therapist and i never really clicked oh my god thank you for the five gifted red root. i appreciate it thank you so much thank you thank you um uh and so i actually just went through the process and i can tell you it is pretty easy pretty straightforward and pretty nice um and the people are very understanding thank you brett for the gift sub as well thank you i'm so sorry for being so low energy I'm, I, I'm in so much pain i've literally only been laying in bed for the last days well except for yesterday i did the stream with toby but before that i've just been in bed because i'm suffering <laughs> so yeah that's that's me though how are you chat how are you guys? Thank you, Ashley, for the gifted as well. Thank you. Um, and because of that, I can't do the watch parties either. I'm hoping that it is going to be over in the next, like, one or two days. I was hoping it would be over today, but it's not. 19 months, let's so, go. I love your stream so you, much. Thank you, Megan. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, so, yeah. I, I was hoping it would be over sooner. It's not. Thank you, Grandma, as well. You've been sick, oh no. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you for the for the getting better wishes as well, chat. I will be fine. It's been like the worst, like for the people who don't know, I'm on my period and it's been like just really bad. It's been the worst one I've had in years. I used to have really bad periods to the point where I couldn't go to school. Uh, like I couldn't even walk and stand up. And they kind of got better over the years. And I thought like, oh, that's pretty good but they this one has been like the worst one i've had in years um wow 19 months yeah, yeah, I, don't know. Yay, I don't know why it probably was thank you thank you for the but what did you say 19 so sorry yeah for the 19 thank you so much nate um yeah i i, I was traveling and I, I skipped my last one and i think because of that this one has been extra worse um but yeah so because of that i'm gonna keep the um stream short today um i'm also going to let um the person we're interviewing know i'm actually gonna go into the channel already and see if they're ready Hello. 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 Hi. How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm, I am. Did. I've not been too good. I've been pretty like sick with cramps for the last few oh days. No. Because of that, I actually I wanted to let you know I might need to keep the interview quite short today. Um, yeah, of course. No worries. Okay. I'm glad. Hope you feel better. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. Dude, do you want me to turn on the camera? Or? Um, If you want to, yeah. If you're comfortable. That would be, cool. okay. that would be great. 
got my lights on. Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, let, me, let me get that up. You, oh my god, that is so cool. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I need to, I need to add that. Um, yeah, I feel better. No worries if you need to keep it short. No okay, pressure okay. at all. Oh my god. Mm. Your lighting is so cool. And I love what you did to your hair. I love the little like, oh, butterfly. butterfly. That is so cute. Thank you. I love butterflies. I also have a butterfly necklace. Too. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. <laughs> Do you want to introduce you to yourself? Meet you. Yeah, that's nice sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so hello, I'm Emma. Uh, I go online by Emma Maylie. But um, so I work at Rad right now. I started working like about a year ago in January. I, I'm not a mental health professional yet, but I <laughs> maybe down the line want to become a therapist. So I've been working, um, kind of do like behind the scenes, kind of helping, um, do searches for them, looking for therapists, and I also, um, kind of help the plan the mental health, um. Uh, awareness month in may for um fundraising and stuff and i also stream a little bit too so totally understand the struggles of you know <laughs> streaming you know burnout all that stuff we want to talk about that too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i also just graduated from usc as studying um cognitive science which is sort of similar to psychology so i'm super um into and passionate about mental health and that's why i work for rad mm -hmm. um yeah, it's oh, a little wow. bit about me, but if you have any oh questions, I'm like pretty much an open book, so okay. I'm done talk about whatever. I actually have a list of questions, just like general okay. questions, um, and then we can like go deeper into stuff. Um, actually, like how how long have you been streaming for? How has that been? Um, I started in July 2020, so during the pandemic, mm -hmm. um, and I kind of was like trying to balance that with school, which was pretty difficult for a while because I was like, um, for a while I was pre-med, so I wanted to become a doctor for a mm -hmm. bit, and then during the pandemic, things changed, and I was like, wait, I don't know if I want to be in med school until I'm like 30 years old, so uh, I switched over to CogSci and dropped pre-med, and I started streaming, and um was sort of just like taking it slowly but um mm -hmm. now I do it full time but also working for rad so. oh wow oh my god yeah that's so cool what do you do do you like play games uh so I play piano um I do like workout streams sometimes I do I also do mental health Mondays as well not like oh, super nice. structured but um I like just like talking about mental health and stuff because it's really important like I, I think especially like in the gaming community, just like bringing awareness to, you know, mental health. And like, I think there's a lot of stigma around the topic. Mm -hmm. um, so and then I also play I also play video games occasionally. I'm not really good at anything, but mm -hmm. um, I play some games, too. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you're just hard on yourself. No, I'm not actually <laughs> that good. <laughs> yeah. um, OK, I'm going to like just start with like the generic questions that I have um my mm -hmm. first question is what do you do for rad and what does your like day-to-day -day look like working for rad mm -hmm. so i um i i i basically am just an like part-time worker right now at rad mm -hmm. um and i was brought on to help organize um mental health awareness month in uh, may where like we bring on a bunch of streamers and have a bunch of um, fundraising events going on um, but then recently I've been transitioning to helping on the care side so I've been helping um, with Megan I don't, I, I don't know who you mm -hmm. spoke with on the care team but I've been helping yeah, with um, kind of searching for therapists I'm actually going to do that today so basically oh, nice. um, I go like on the like different websites and um, like look for therapists for different clients people that apply um, so if any of you guys are looking to look for a therapist i think we're our applications are currently closed right now but we're looking to open them up pretty soon mm -hmm. um so hopefully maybe i can help some of you guys oh, look for therapists nice. behind the scenes i haven't like taken on my own clients yet like i haven't like really helped um with my own like intake and stuff and helping um bring on people and stuff and like interviewing and stuff but i want to maybe do that eventually mm -hmm. oh my god um yeah. i love that you so 
this is like nothing against obviously all the other workers but i love that you have like a good microphone and like set up it kind of <laughs> like it's it kind of like helps with like the whole like you know just talking to someone i talked yeah, to yeah. I, i think i talked to megan did i talk to megan uh about my own therapist and mm -hmm. they also had like a good setup and it was it was just really nice <laughs> yeah no definitely love having the setup mm -hmm. i think like once i do like uh, i am able to like bring people on and stuff i think it just like i don't know like i think it just makes for a more like cozy like intimate yeah kind i was of gonna say it's so cozy yeah yeah and out of the fireplace <laughs> yeah it's so nice my chat can't see it but wait let me see oh. if i can show chat look um uh, what side oh my god i have like everything cropped there look a fireplace it's so cozy wait can i no, i can't put it all together yeah. <laughs> i would crop you off i don't want to do that <laughs> no you're good <laughs> um okay you kind of already answered that question um which is what mm -hmm. did you go to school for did you have like just a normal like path of like going to high school then college then you know whatever mm -hmm. or did you how was your like schooling yeah so i kind of just i um definitely took like the more traditional route just going straight from high school to college um and I part of me wanted to take a gap year and I, I do encourage people to like take time to like figure out what they what they like but I think that um I think I went to like a super preppy high school so mm -hmm. it was kind of like conditioned in us to just like go straight from like high school like right into college so uh, part of me wishes that I like took more time for myself but um I think like now like, I, don't, I don't even really like it's not that I don't, don't use my major but it's like I don't I guess like I, maybe it wasn't as necessary to like mm -hmm. take a break because like I feel like my life right now is pretty chill um thankfully but yeah are you in school or um, I, I do I take like online classes uh for counseling but oh, cool. um not nothing like um day-to-day -day, like classes like stressful <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. No, classes school is so stressful like mm -hmm. it like my mental health was significantly worse when I was in school like I you know I'd get like panic attacks like like almost like every week and like mm -hmm. um I, I have like I, I've always the reason why like I love mental health is because like I've had like anxiety and like depression my whole life mm -hmm. um or close to my whole life um but oh definitely always anxiety um and I think there's the way that schools are kind of formatted now. It just like it feels like it's sort of like the be all end all. Like if you don't do well mm. on a test, it's like you feel like your life is like falling like apart because like that is your life, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely glad that I'm not in school, but school is definitely good. But I just don't think it's for everyone. Mm -hmm. And like if I did want to like go into higher education, like I'm thinking maybe down the line, maybe getting like a degree and like. Um, like a PsyD or like a social work degree. Mm -hmm. um, PsyD is sort of similar to like, it's like a PhD, but without as much research. Um, but you can become like a therapist with that with those degrees. And that's something that maybe I want to do down the line. Mm -hmm. um, kind of be like female Dr. K, if you, Ooh, you know Dr. Yes. K. Yeah, I can yeah. see you do that. Yeah. That would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, But you're, you're in school for counseling or do you want, yeah. do you want to become like a yeah. mental health professional? So, I always wanted to become a psychiatrist and I was actually going to oh. go to university um, in 2021, I think. Oh, cool. But then like through COVID and everything and streaming yeah. like was going well. So I decided I'll just not go right now and just do it later. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, I still want to do it at some point. But again, it's so stressful mm -hmm. and I already yeah. am really <laughs> a really anxious person and I feel like school would just mm -hmm. make it so much worse. Yeah, definitely it's like a balance that has to be made like between like how much you're studying because like there were some days I would be like studying like eight hours a day and then mm -hmm. I would take the test and then I would get like below like satisfactory for me, which is like <laughs> I'm like a perfectionist. So like if I didn't get like an A, I would like beat myself up so much, um, like especially if I, like, I studied for hours. So definitely like. And, like, also you being, like, a streamer and stuff, too, like, I completely understand, like, <laughs> that balance. So trying to balance, like, it's so social hard. life and streaming and, war like, schoolwork and stuff. Um, 
But yeah, yeah you have your whole life ahead of you. You're you're pretty young, right? You're I'm 21. 21. Oh wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you have your whole life to do school. Yeah. Just follow your passions is what I always I always encourage my friends to do too. Mm. I agree, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. But psychiatry is really cool. I it's it's definitely the harder route because you have to <laughs> Like I go to med school for it, but mm -hmm. definitely we need psychiatrists. Super important. Yeah, role. especially like I feel like psychiatrists with like different, like um, like what is it called experiences? Because mm -hmm. you know a lot of psychiatrists only have like clinical experience or like book experience. Right, and, right, 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 right. Um, I would love to become a psychiatrist for streamers, like in particular, or like content oh. creators, uh, because. I don't know how many of them you met, but I feel like we all need therapy. <laughs> oh, for sure. We all need therapy. The, the streaming community can, or just like the streaming world can just be so just, I don't know, tiring, like mentally, like, I don't know if the toxic's the right word, but I guess sometimes yeah, it can be toxic Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. yeah, we can, I feel like we were all really hard on ourselves in general. Yeah. And then comparing ourselves, like when mm -hmm. numbers aren't good, it's like, am I doing something wrong? Or like, even <laughs> like it has nothing to do with us. Like it's the internet, you know, it's so random, like how things are, but like, you know, it's so easy to just like take it to heart and mm -hmm. be like, oh, it's because of me. Yeah, um, for sure. Um, okay. Let me, let me see my, my other questions that I have. Okay. Um, um ooh, why is mental health important to you well it's, i touched a little bit on it earlier but i think just because so for con some context about me some i'm a lore i'm mm -hmm. adopted so um i actually have two white parents mm -hmm. i'm full asian i'm not white but um i think being adopted and like growing up in a super white environment like it i grew up with like a really a lot of like self-confidence issues like I wanted to like have you know like my eyes aren't actually blue my eyes are brown mm -hmm. but <laughs> I wear contacts but like when I was younger I wanted to have like you know colored eyes like you know like fair skin like light hair and stuff like a lot of my peers and like my parents and stuff and I think that it caused like a lot of kind of like self-doubt and just like it I already had anxiety I think I just have like kind of um what's the chronic anxiety like, mm -hmm. disorder or something um but like I think that it just was exacerbated by just like being in an environment where I felt like I didn't belong like I didn't have that many friends growing up too um so I guess like I sort of what I talk about like on stream and like what I want to help with rad and just like in the in the world in general I just like want I guess people to know that like they're not alone and like I I wish that little Emma had someone like you know, like you or, you know, like so to watch and like look up to me like, wow, there's people talking about these things. Like I'm not crazy. Like it's not mm -hmm. all in my head because um, I when I was younger, I did think like I was the only one feeling, you know, these feelings. But in, in reality, like so many people totally like feel, you know, like they don't belong and like have those, you know, self doubts and, and everything. And I think it's just because we don't talk about it or we mm -hmm. didn't talk about it as much, um, at least when I was younger. Yeah, um, for sure. So. Yeah, mental health is super important to me, though. Like, I, I think, like, no matter what I do in life, like, I think it's always going to be a part of me because it, 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 like, it's part of my story, you know, like, just mm -hmm. um, with my own, like, battles of, yeah, like, anxiety. And, like, in, in high school, I was really depressed. Like, I, I was actually in this a car accident. Uh, I got this crazy scar. Maybe oh, my show God. You. Yeah, I got the scar oh wow see. that yeah. is a big <laughs> scar a scar oh my god and like i'm okay now i'm like all, i was all okay, fine good. but <laughs> no, i'm all good just the scar um but um i think after that happened i was like i had like to reevaluate i like, kind of reevaluated my life i'm like wow like life can end so quickly and it kind of freaked me out a bit and it made me like almost like oh my, maybe life's not even worth living because I could die at any time mm -hmm. but I went to therapy and I went on antidepressants um and like it definitely helped turn kind of helped me like give me the boost to start to like recover mm -hmm. um and then I kind of now I kind of have like reframed that and it's like oh life is so short like it's so beautiful like we should 
do the things that we want to do in life now versus wait till later um so that's why I'm like pursuing streaming even though I don't really know where it's gonna go like I you know still might go back to school like I kind of just I just want to pursue the things that I want to do now because like you never know what's gonna happen Mm -hmm. um yeah wow I mean, <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm deep. <laughs> no, no. I mean, uh, I, I'm glad. I'm, I'm thankful that you like shared that with us. Obviously, um, oh, I know it can be really hard to um, share these things, especially online. So, wow. Um, yeah. I, I definitely. I try to be pretty open about it. Like, yeah. Just, yeah. I think it's yeah. important. I think obviously I understand everyone who doesn't want to be, but I feel of like, course, of course. or especially what we're trying to do with, with showing people that they're not alone. You know talking about mm. our own experiences can be really helpful and important yeah yeah um, yeah just like validating those experiences and like exactly yeah like it's like on mental health mondays like i don't really know what to do because so i usually just like end up talking about my own mental health yeah. <laughs> and then like usually that sparks discussion um mm-hmm. but i think just being like ha- like yeah just being like a figure and like being open and like comfortable talking about stuff going on in your life it's like it helps people also be comfortable mm-hmm. with you know reflecting and kind of thinking about it in like the context of their own lives as well yeah I like what you said with um well I don't like it but it, I, I can definitely relate to <laughs> <laughs> relate to um not ha- not really having anyone growing up to talk about this mm. or who was talking about yeah. this like to relate to and so I also always try to put myself into my younger shoes being like what would I like mm. to hear or what would I need to hear in that moment or even nowadays you know what would I like to hear how would I like to be yeah. feeling that I'm not alone and so yeah yeah I like that yeah, you you can be open it, it shows strength for sure <laughs> oh, thanks. you too honestly like the fact that you're still streaming today to raise money for rad even though you're yeah. not feeling well like you're super strong oh, for that. Thank you. I really, really appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, let me see if I have anything else. Um, ooh, what are the challenges that you face during your job? Maybe not just, even not just as working at Rad, but also as a streamer. And like you said, doing your Mental Health Monday streams. Because, you know, you're putting mm-hmm. yourself out there so vulnerable. So mm-hmm. yeah, what are what are some? Do you face some challenges? What are they? Yeah, um, I think sometimes when I first started doing the mental health um, streams and stuff, like I had some people come into my chat, like saying some like really intense things, like saying like they didn't, you know, they wanted to like end their lives and stuff. And I'm, I think I just I was very unequipped to to handle that. And mm-hmm. now I thankfully have like kind of. Like after working at Rad, like I, you know, I can, I, I've actually started to just like refer people to Rad. <laughs> uh, people come in my chat. Um, I try to talk to them, but like I know I had to kind of accept that I can't like help everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and and even with Rad too, it's like I obviously like you know I want to be able to help everybody and like make sure everyone gets a therapist. But you know, it might take one, two, three times, maybe more than that, to find the, the best therapist for you and that's like totally fine and totally normal and I think that sometimes people try to you know try to um you know test out therapy but they don't like click with their first therapist and then they kind of give up on it Mm -hmm. um so I guess just like with yeah like streaming and like just kind of talking about mental health there's definitely like times where I definitely feel like almost helpless like I want to I wish I could help everyone and like you know it, I think that that's been a struggle for me at least is like kind of separating that and making sure that doesn't affect my own mental health I guess mm-hmm. um you know like still caring and like you know being there for my community but also not letting it like consume my own mental health yeah um, if that makes sense yeah yeah for sure I I yeah I definitely can relate to that I get mm-hmm. a lot of people coming to especially on mental health Mondays coming to my chat you know Kind of telling me about their experience yeah. but i have to remind you as well chat i'm not a professional and yeah i'm kind of here yeah. to also show you rise above the disorder <laughs> which yeah. can help you with everything you're struggling with or even if you're not struggling um, if you just want to talk to someone that's very good yeah i think that the, the great thing about therapy is like you don't need to 
you know, be depressed or like have any kind of undiagnosed or diagnosed disorder to be in therapy. Like, I think it's such like a a great tool just to be able to understand yourself better and like understand why you feel, you know, you know, certain ways, like some days, like I think that like a lot of the work that I've done has kind of um, helped me like understand like the way that I create like friendships and relationships and like kind of the reason why I'm like the way I am today and like a lot Mm -hmm. of it has to do with like stuff from my childhood which is super interesting to me as like a cog sci psych person I'm like (laughs) it's super interesting to learn about like me like I just like like I like psychoanalyzing myself and like like oh that's why I like you know like freaked out about this stupid thing I was like (laughs) I don't know just like kind of like understand why um I am the way I am because like of it, it, it makes me feel like I think it can help you feel like less crazy and like in your head like you know there's reasons for why mm-hmm. we are the way we are it's not just like it's not just be, like we're not just born this way like it was kind of like you know a product of my you know some stuff that might have happened when you were kids or you know past trauma um yeah yeah definitely I I totally agree with that I have I do that as well a lot of the times where, where I'm like mm-hmm. oh let's go back <laughs> into my childhood why why did I react why did I just react like that why am I angry yeah. now <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah it's super interesting <laughs> yeah. yeah how long have you been yeah. in therapy for or like what was your like kind of way with therapy have you like yeah yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> um so I actually started so I I my parents, when I was going way back, I started therapy, like, my parents, my parents forced me into therapy when I was a kid, which is not the right way to go about it, because, I, I, like, I just remember, like, being in this office with this lady and, like, looking at her, and, like, I'm, like, there's, like, oh some God. toys on the table, and I just was, like, do I play with the toys? And, like, she's just looking at me, like, oh I'm, like, God. this is terrifying. So, because I, when I was a kid, I had, like, crazy anger issues mm-hmm. for some reason, I think, and I think a lot of it had to do with, like, because I was like just had a lot of anxiety so I was like a little ball of like I was like literally bouncing off off the walls and like throwing tantrums all the time Mm -hmm. so I guess like therapy wasn't introduced to me in a super good way so I just kind of hated it for a while um but then um I went back when I was in um yeah when I was 15 when I was like really depressed and I think I just remember telling my mom like I, I was really ashamed I remember being really ashamed of asking her um if I could get a therapist because I knew she was gonna be like I told you so oh like when God. you were six years old you should have stayed in therapy <laughs> no. like she wouldn't have said that ever but yeah. my parents are super nice but like I was afraid of just her saying teenage, that or something like teenage that teenage angst like I cannot tell her yeah. that I was wrong I cannot admit that I was yeah. that I ever but you know yeah exactly. she was right oh my god <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I like didn't want them to be like ah, I told you so um so I I like definitely was like kind of hesitant to like um to reach out and I think the great thing about rad just going to bouncing to rad is like um I mean if your family doesn't support mental health and stuff like we can work with anybody really like as as long as you know they fill out the application we, we work with a lot of minors and like people that you know maybe their family doesn't support it or they don't have like the means like financial means and stuff so um definitely all possible and I, I think that's a really cool thing about rad mm-hmm. um but bouncing back um so then yeah I went so then I started going to therapy and I got a psychiatrist which was honestly the best like I I was kind of afraid of taking antidepressants for a while but they helped me so much like I it just made me like functional again like I think like I was I felt like I was like a zombie yeah and like with the the meds like I was like a slightly (laughs) like more alive zombie (laughs) I don't know (laughs) <laughs> yeah. yeah um but, was but like, i still take like come back to you brain. yeah and i was like wow i can think like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah but um and i still take i still take antidepressants for my anxiety so like mm-hmm. i don't i don't think i think there is a lot of stigma around meds and i don't think it's up for everybody but like from my own personal experience like it's helped me so much just like be able to have like mental clarity so that's why i, I love love psychiatrists psychiatrists are the best <laughs> yeah. um so and then recently so I stopped going to therapy after I remember like after I think I, I just like remember there was a one session where I was like I just like didn't feel like I was depressed anymore and then I was like does that mean like we stopped 
like meeting or something or mm-hmm. I don't really remember what happened but I think she might have moved or something but like it was kind of like I didn't really like need her anymore but I kind of wish I stuck in therapy just because mm-hmm. like you don't really need to be like yeah depressed or anything to just to be in therapy um but I did so I, then I I stopped for a bit and then I decide I decided to go back to the therapy during the pandemic because my mental health got went out the window mm. I remember I was like the the beginning of the pandemic like I was playing Animal Crossing <laughs> for like 16 hours a day <laughs> it was really bad I was literally living in my island like I was exactly not mentally like felt that. on earth <laughs> right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. um and I just like I'm like I'm not happy like obviously like my I, I love my island and like whatever but I was like not happy with like <laughs> yeah. my life <laughs> yeah um, so I went back to therapy and I ever since I, I've been with my current therapist um since then I, I didn't actually get her through rad because I didn't know about rad mm-hmm. um until later um in the year that um I first started therapy but um I found her through like a family friend and um honestly like I I always say like ther- my therapist is like a professional best friend kind Aww. of it's like <laughs> That's so you know like, you can kind of say like I, I feel like I can tell her anything almost anything mm-hmm. um she's like a second mom kind of I don't know it's, it's kind of mm-hmm. weird like but um I think there's something really special about like being able to have you know a really good therapist that you click with and having that bond because you like you know that they're there like she's always tells me like if I'm having like a panic attack or if I'm not doing well like I can always call her um mm-hmm. and sometimes like I'm afraid to call her because I'm like what if, sometimes <laughs> what I'm like it's like her? four in the morning and I'm like and I'm like what if she like <laughs> sleeping I'll wake her up or like I don't want to like bother her mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think it's just nice knowing that like a person's there um mm-hmm. and that's like I, I think that like therapy has really just helped change me for the better mm-hmm. in a lot of ways so oh. That you're in therapy good. too you said or? i'm i'm just starting mine again oh, I, yeah okay. i had i i had therapy last year and then i kind of realized that we didn't really click um and mm. so well i i there was also like a weird thing i went through the nhs which is like a uk like um like health insurance thing and i couldn't go for like twice in half a year and they said like we can't do that and because i live i have such a busy life sometimes i have to cancel so i decided okay this just doesn't work um and now I was supposed to have a call with someone today but it didn't work out so I'm gonna have a call with them tomorrow and I really hope that they I I really hope that they like we we vibe together because I'm about to move and moving can be like so stressful and so So I think I'm gonna need someone to like be there I can just rel- yes. like talk to and rant to because I know it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> yes, good luck. I hope that Thank you find you. a good therapist. And I totally understand about moving. Like every year of college, I moved to a different like apartment or something. And mm-hmm. oh my gosh, like my parents like hate. Like, I was literally a different person. I was like moving Emma, like move out. Emma. They had like a name for me. Like yeah. I, they just like I, I was a menace. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so stressed just like yelling at her like ah, get my bookshelf like I was just like so yeah. mean no I can I just, imagine I was so stressed <laughs> yeah I did read um, somewhere that like moving is one of the most stressful things that like people can do yeah it, I don't know why it is like it's yeah I don't but know. it is really it's like because like you kind of have to like it's like you're, it's a combination of like cleaning but also like to like get rid of stuff and like yeah. you know like finding a new place to move yeah it's just like it's such just, a, like i'm like i'm living so at much. home right now to okay. save money and i'm like i, I know i want to move out eventually but i'm like dreading do i really want to move out <laughs> yeah i'm just like procrastinating it like no i don't want to think about mm. having to move out every i have so much stuff it's really bad <laughs> oh my God. what state do you yeah. live in if i may ask uh, I live in LA. Kind of oh yeah. Way. Okay, I'm moving to yeah. LA. I'm just saying this because oh. I think you're so cool. We should hang out when I move there. Dude, I'm I think so you're, so cool. you're so cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're so cool. I, I will show you all around town. I I know all this. Fun. I I was born and raised here, so oh, I know nice. a ton of like good food places and stuff. I'd love to love to hang out. Hell yeah, that would be cool. I just thought, <laughs> yeah, I, I had I had an idea because your accent sounded very like. California LA but I didn't want to <laughs> I, I didn't want to say it <laughs> yeah. who are you 
you from? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Um, okay, I think those are, are all my questions. So, chat, do you have any questions? Let's see. Oh, they're asking for your pronouns. Oh, she, hers. Um, what if I can't afford th therapy? So do you want to just explain again what RAD is and does? I, I always ask, yeah. like every stream. Yeah, of course. Um, so RAD, um, short for Rise Above the Disorder, we um, help um, basically match people. It's like a, we have a therapy matchmaking service. So we... Um, that sounds like a dating service. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we, we help people find therapy, and if you can't afford it, um, we have grants. So we that's like what we're you know um, Nikki's very grateful or very kind. <laughs> sorry, I can't speak English um, to fundraise, but like all the money will go towards um, being able to provide um, like free to low cost therapy for people if they can't afford it or if you know they have financial struggles if they don't have insurance um we can definitely help and work with you um regardless of all that um yeah sorry that was all <laughs> no, <that's awesome. laughs> um oh okay so i asked this last time as well but you also mm -hmm. mentioned that you have anxiety and i know that Mm -hmm. you know, I have anxiety a lot. I know that a lot of people in my chat have anxiety as well. Mm -hmm. And so do you have any like coping mechanisms or anything that you do against your anxiety? We were talking about, mm -hmm. um, what is it called? I forgot what it was called. Mindfulness. We were talking about mindfulness last time and how much that can help, like just being in the moment. Do you have anything like that? Mm. Yeah, I... Let me think. So when I'm having really bad anxiety, usually it's like it, I when I'm getting anxious, I kind of become like paralyzed. And like I don't I think it's hard for me to like get up. But I know that like getting up, like going for a walk, getting outside, like kind of like becoming like one with nature, like has helped mm -hmm. me a lot. Like when I do have like the motivation to get out of bed. Um, but I know sometimes like when you're anxious, you just like don't want to move like you're just like a human vegetable, I guess like mm -hmm. vegetable emma mode um <laughs> so usually when i'm a vegetable i'll just like put on some music you know take some deep breaths uh maybe read or journal i have like i started journaling over the mm -hmm. pandemic um like writing down you know things that i'm grateful for sometimes like when i get really anxious or down on myself like i start writing like affirmations um or like kind of like manifestations almost like mm -hmm. things that like I want to be true um and I think that's like kind of helps me like just writing it down and getting all, all out like helps me kind of clear my head a little bit mm -hmm. um but I think just like being patient with yourself and like letting it kind of go through like you know it's gonna be I feel like you're having a panic attack or feeling really anxious like you know don't try to shy away from feeling those emotions like maybe try to like understand like I think that's I think this is like me kind of <laughs> psycho and psycho like a psychologist Emma uh, but I think this like I think it's important to kind of like almost like lean into those emotions because it can really help you like kind of understand yourself more like why am I feeling this way and like you don't have to obviously in the moment you're like probably not like wanting to know like why am I having like a panic attack but like I think like writing down things and then being able to like look back on it later or, like um and if you have like a therapist like talking about it with them or like maybe like a friend or someone that you find close like um I think it just maybe will be able to help you kind of prevent it like from happening again like maybe you know stressed about like you know, getting overwhelmed with schoolwork or something it's like maybe like what's a way to kind of get ahead so it doesn't happen like kind of just preventative things um so like for me um I know I get stressed if I like don't go to the gym for some reason like mm -hmm. I just started getting really bad body dysmorphia and like um so I just like force myself to go to the gym a lot even when I don't want to because I know that's gonna like prevent me from having those like anxiety attacks like because I'm like looking in the mirror I'm like unhappy mm -hmm. with like what I see um so like that's just like little like things that I've kind of 
sort of piece together but like in the moment yeah i think just like like trying to go outside go for a walk um listen to music kind of typical things is what i do at least Mm -hmm. um yeah yeah i think that's good i think yeah for me a big thing also is to understand where it comes from um Mm -hmm. and kind of like just step by step work on it like this is like i feel like anxiety can be so big and it can be so many reasons and then it builds up and all of a Mm. sudden it just you're just kind of stunned you don't know what to do and i think like working on it step by step going on it day by day and then like you said like also prevent like doing things to prevent it from happening um is really important and even though you don't want to Mm. and you you already feel anxious you you don't want to do it like it it can help so much and like a small yeah. like push can go a, a really long way for, for sure. sure for sure yeah it, it builds character <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly exactly do it for yeah. the, the the plot <laughs> yeah yeah um i i sometimes like have to trick myself whenever i'm like oh, i don't want to go into the gym and then i'm like oh but what if i hit, hit like a personal best or what if i yeah. manage like what if Never i surprise know. myself that'll be so cool i'll be so proud yeah. of myself and i just i just talk to myself like i'm like a, a school child don't, child don't wanting to go to school but what <laughs> if what if there's like a really cool thing happening today yeah, yeah <laughs> i work it's, it's on fomo like, <laughs> yeah have fomo too yeah. <laughs> me too honestly yeah. <laughs> like i don't want to go outside yeah. today but what if what if there's like something really cool happening uh, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah um, I think I'm also like super competitive too mm. so it's like trying to I think like yeah going like stuff with like going to the gym or whatever it might be like having like someone else to kind of like like someone to go with or something like you know kind of motivate you to like you know get out and stuff I think like also like when I'm having anxiety too or like not doing well mentally I think like reaching it's, it's, it's always hard to reach out but I think lately i've been like getting mm-hmm. better at reaching out just because that so you know like you're not like by yourself and like you can like you don't oh my god sorry about that electric it's like killing murdering like mass murdering flies. oh my god <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> but um yeah i think just like you know reaching out um also is another thing that i want to mm. add to yeah that's very true um yeah. someone asked if you have any advice on telling your parents that you might struggle with mental health mm-hmm. um so i think bringing it it depends on i guess it depends like on every every like family is different i think like different generations have sort of different like mental health awareness like my parents for example like had zero idea what like anxiety or depression was Mm -hmm. um they're like i think they're in their 60s i think Mm -hmm. but like i think (laughs) kind of the the boomer generation if you say they (laughs) they don't really i think you know they weren't educated on mental health and stuff so it kind of depends on and also like religion is another factor like my parents aren't religious but i do have like other families that like you know cultural cultures and different cultures and religions like their parents might think like mental health is like not or like a real thing like you know you gotta get just like suck it up i think like yeah especially in like asian cultures i've like i, mean, I guess having white parents I, ha- I didn't have that experience but i've mm-hmm. had um friends like asian friends that have had the experience of like yeah their parents like not being against therapy because they think it's taboo and like they think it's you know it's all in your head uh, you just gotta like you know work harder or something like or just um but like i i got through it without you know therapy and stuff <laughs> yeah. so like you can too like I, i've had that like i've heard that from my friends like their parents saying that to them um i think i mean i think there's a lot of you know resources online now like on youtube and stuff kind of just like explaining like mental health and you know like it's not like you have to make like a powerpoint presentation <laughs> but almost like kind of you know i think sometimes it could be really beneficial to almost like you know sit down with your parents and like talk to teach them kind of about what you know, mental health is like what, how it, in the context of your life like how it affects you and then like you know like scientifically like how it works and like you know like oh your your brain chemistry and stuff and like and like there's a bunch of there's a ton of resources like on, on youtube now about about all that stuff like if you're not educated on that too and like i think um but i think that 
going that route maybe kind of i think it depends definitely yeah i really family, like but that i think that's a really good I, idea I, I, it's like a different kind of way to go because it's like kind of giving like evidence you know this is like you know mental this is a real thing it's not just in my head like it's mm -hmm. like backed up by science like you know and um i'm not that's not to say that's like not every parent you know it might not uh, or person might not like agree with that but i think that could be like an interesting way to to bring it up um because mm -hmm. like or or just sort of going to them and just saying like hey i've been really struggling with you know i i i've been feeling really sad or like whatever it might be like mm -hmm. just being open and honest with them um saying like I, I think i you know could really benefit from like talking to someone like professionally about this like you know someone that could help me more than just like you know my friends or my, my peers um because mm -hmm. i think that you know therapists can off i've have also have had like friends with uh their parents like have given the argument like oh well you can just like talk to your friend like that's what friends are for like no but they're and not I always it's not the put same. that on my friends like, yeah you don't yeah. want to put that on your friends yeah it's a lot to like burden with some like your friends obviously should be there for you but like mm -hmm. not to the extent of like what a therapist is like, yeah for exactly because they're like trained to know how to handle all that yeah exactly um we just got 30 gifted subs thank you so much oh Jess. shit i appreciate Let's it go. oh my god thank you <laughs> what the hell that like ripped me out of it totally thank you so much i appreciate it can we get some hearts in chat please thank you chat thank you thank you thank you <laughs> oh my god um you deserve it <laughs> thank you <laughs> Oh my god. I was actually going to say... Today. <laughs> yeah. You never know who's yeah, going to exactly. gift subs if we go live. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, wow, what a surprise. Thank you so much. Um, I did actually... I wanted to say, like, is there any any like other things you want to like give to chat or say to chat? I think I'm going to end it here because yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so much pain no, i wish no, i no, was please i'm <laughs> sorry we, we, we ended up talking long, long no oh my god something. i i appreciate, I appreciate you so it. much and also i appreciate you talking oh, more yes. because you know the pain i can't speak much so <laughs> no it's all good of course <laughs> thank of course. you so much um, no no thank you for having me on thank mm -hmm. you for for you know for helping raise money for rad and spreading mental health awareness i think it's so important um you know this day and age like i saw some statistic about like mental health and like it's like one in six like uh, about girls i think it was mm -hmm. just like it's crazy statistics i could try to send it to you later mm -hmm. um but like just like mental health is so prevalent in like this like our generation yeah um and like 60 percent more than like past generations and stuff or something some crazy statistic like that it was really mind-boggling but mm -hmm. um i guess let me last any last things i guess um just overall you know just know that you guys are valid for feeling the way that you feel and it's it's okay to you know ask for help i think that um you know sometimes it's like that's like the hardest part i think is just like asking for help or like realizing that you know you might want help or that you're not like alone and you don't have to be alone um and rad we are here for you um or rad is here for you <laughs> um, we're also here for rad but um but um um and yeah if, if you guys you know need anything just you know you can uh, um i think yeah just apply i think our applications are going to be open for a little bit but um you can join the wait list and we'll keep you updated on all that um but yeah, thank you so much for having me on. Thank and you for being here. Thank you. Do you want to shout yeah. out your Twitch as well in case chat wants to find you? Oh. <laughs> oh, sure. I'll just say hi. Okay, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> there <you> go. <laughs> just Emma Mailey. If you want to find yeah. her. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I'm so sorry for it being shorter, but I really, no, really no, appreciate you being here. Thank you for here. having me on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you feel better. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You too, Nikki. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh, wait. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. I can't find my, my button. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, chat, for it. Oh, Eva was so lovely. They are all so lovely. I love the rad people so much. I say this every single time. But everyone is just so sweet. 
um and again like i appreciate you guys for watching as well i'm sorry this was like shorter i oh i took painkillers right before the stream but oh thank you emma thank you for being on the stream <laughs> um, i took painkillers before the stream but it's just not getting better it's just not helping uh, i also wanted to thank lita for the five dollars and brower for the five dollars donated to rad thank you guys um next week we're gonna have another one i hope that next week i will feel better um I th i'm sure i will it's just the it's just the last days is that filled up mode yeah that's filled up mode um just the last days of feeling miserable but still i still really appreciate you guys for watching again thank you for the 30 gifted as well that was crazy thank you so much um and yeah as always thank you for supporting me we should um see who we can raid um let's go ahead and raid foolish chat he's playing valorant right now um let's go ahead and raid foolish uh thank you so much for watching chat again sorry this was uh, shorter but i will be back uh tomorrow i'll actually be back tomorrow we're, we're streaming sons of the forest tomorrow um so yeah i will see you then uh, and, and until then i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful <laughs> morning evening or day wherever you are and i will see you in the next one guys i'll see you tomorrow bye